With so many great shows coming out this year, we decided to come up with the best of list of the top 10 new shows to be released in 2017. To qualify, these new TV series must have had their first entire season this year. It's not possible to watch every new show, so if you don't see one of your favorite shows listed in this video, feel free to let us know in the comments so we can check it out. These are the shows we think are the 10 best new TV shows of 2017 that are available to watch right now, and to mix things up, I will count them down in order based on their IMDb rating. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. Starting off our countdown at number 10 is Patriot, with an IMDb rating of 8.2 out of 10. This dark comedy political drama, which airs on Amazon Video, originally had a pilot that aired in 2015, but the series did not air in its entirety until April of 2017. The series stars Michael Dorman and Terry O'Quinn. The story follows an intelligence officer that assumes a non-official cover to prevent Iran from going nuclear. If you're looking for a fresh take on the overplayed espionage genre, Patriot is the show for you. Amazon has renewed Patriot for a second season. In at number 9 is the American mystery thriller Mr. Mercedes, with an IMDb score of 8.2. The series is based on a novel by Stephen King, and the showrunner is David E. Kelly. The star of the series is Brendan Gleeson as retired detective Bill Hodges, who is still haunted by the unsolved case of Mr. Mercedes, who killed 16 people when he drove a stolen Mercedes through a group of people at a job fair. The series premiered on August 9th and is currently only halfway through the season at the time this video was released. Mr. Mercedes airs on the Audience Network, which is an exclusive channel for those that have AT&T UVerse or DirecTV. It kind of sucks that this show is not on a channel that reaches more people since it's such a great show. Coming in at number 8 is the drama fantasy series American Gods, which also scores an 8.2 rating. The series was released in April and was created by Michael Green and Brian Fuller. Fuller also created Hannibal, which is still one of the greatest shows ever made. American Gods has an excellent cast that includes Ricky Whittle, Emily Browning, Crispin Glover, and Ian McShane. The premise of the show is out there. It focuses on a man named Shadow who meets a stranger named Mr. Wednesday after being released from prison. They soon become embroiled in a conflict between the old gods and the new gods. American Gods airs on the Stars Network and has been renewed for a second season. At number 7 is the crime drama series Sneaky Pete with a rating of 8.3. This Amazon original series initially debuted the pilot in 2015 with the series premiering in its entirety in January of 2017. It was created by David Shore and Brian Cranston. The series stars Giovanni Ribisi as a released convict that assumes the identity of his former cellmate in order to avoid a vicious gangster played by Brian Cranston. This is one of those shows that picks up steam the later you get into the season. Amazon has announced that Snakey Pete will be back for a second season. Legion with a rating of 8.5 comes in at number 6 on our list. Broadcast on the FX network and based on the Marvel Comics character, the series is linked to the X-Men film series. The show follows a young man who's been diagnosed with schizophrenia, but after a strange event, discovers that he has special powers. The series has high production values, good writing and acting, and excellent cinematography. Many will argue, including myself, that this is the best Marvel series that you can watch on TV. A second season has been ordered to premiere in February of 2018. Coming in at number 5 is Ozark, with an IMDb rating of 8.5. On my list, I had this show at number 1, and I think it's the best TV series since Breaking Bad. This crime drama thriller starring Jason Bateman was released on Netflix in July. This story is about a Chicago-based financial advisor that is forced to relocate his family to the Missouri Ozarks when his dealings with the drug cartel take a sudden turn. This is Bateman's breakout role as a serious actor and should get nominated for an Emmy. With each episode, the drama becomes more intense. The final two episodes will leave you on the edge of your seat. Netflix has renewed Ozark for a second season. The HBO drama Big Little Lies comes in at number 4 with a rating of 8.6. This miniseries premiered in February and was also created and written by David E. Kelly, who was also involved in the series Mr. Mercedes, which I mentioned earlier. Big Little Lies has an excellent cast, which includes Reese Witherspoon and Nicole Kidman. 
The show follows three mothers of first graders that unravel to the point where somebody gets murdered. HBO has revealed that a second season of Big Little Lies is possible, but as of right now, has not been renewed. In at number three is the British drama Taboo, with a rating of 8.6. It premiered on BBC One in the UK and in the United States on the FX network in January. The series stars Tom Hardy, who also co-wrote the story with his dad, Edward Chips Hardy. The series begins in 1814 with Tom Hardy's character returning to England from Africa with 14 stolen diamonds following the death of his father. For those of you that enjoyed Hardy in the series Peaky Blinders, you will get more of the same with another excellent performance. This show does start out a little slow, so give it a few episodes to get into it. Taboo has been renewed for a second series. In the runner-up spot at number two, is The Handmaid's Tale, with a rating of 8.7. This drama series based on the novel of the same name premiered on the streaming service Hulu back in April. Featuring a stellar cast, the show is set in a dystopian future where a woman is forced to live as a concubine under a theocratic dictatorship. At first glance, it looks just like another routine period piece, but I assure you it's not. If you have Hulu, you should add this to your watch list. The Handmaid's Tale has been renewed for a second season. In at the top spot is Twin Peaks on the Showtime Network. It also has an 8.7 rating. Being higher on our list, it just barely beat out The Handmaid's Tale. Twin Peaks is considered a new series, even though it does pick up 25 years after the original series. The first season of this new series premiered in May and was created by Mark Frost and David Lynch. Some of the old cast are back as well, including Kyle MacLachlan. Instead of just focusing on the murder of a homecoming queen, the new Twin Peaks has several storylines occurring at the same time with the same weirdness that made the original Twin Peaks so popular. There has been no word yet if there will be a second season. That concludes this list. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. What is your favorite new TV show of 2017? Let us know in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button and bell notification icon for more top 10 lists and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.